A 50 against his former county for Gareth Berg and an impressive opening burst from 18-year-old debutant Bradley Wheel has put Hampshire in the box seat at the halfway stage of their LV County Championship game against leaders Middlesex at the Aegeus Bowl. The home team lost Sean Irvin to the ninth ball of the day, one which didn't start until quarter past two because of morning rain. Toby Rowland-Jones with his first wicket of the match as the batsman went too far across his stumps. Hampshire were now on 297 for six and Middlesex would have been hopeful of keeping the score down to around 350. First though, they needed to get shot of Will Smith, who began the day on 52 and was soon adding to that with these boundaries having been joined at the crease by Berg. The all-rounder spent seven years at Middlesex, missing all but one game of last season with a career-threatening injury. He made steady progress here until he jumped into action by taking 14 runs off three balls off Ollie Rayner, including this six. Berg would have been desperate to impress against his former teammates. He was a popular man in the Lord's dressing room before an infection and muscle tear in his shoulders saw him being released at the end of last summer. He would have just been pleased to be playing again, although these runs were certainly a bonus. Making it to a 50 off 74 balls with five fours and a six would have had him smiling. He was also able to add 91 runs for the seventh wicket with Smith before both batsmen fell in the same Neil Dexter over. Berg was out, pulling a short ball out to Nick Gubbins to the first delivery he faced after raising his bat. And that was swiftly followed up five balls later by the wicket of Smith, who was on 93 when he gloved a similar shot behind, Dexter surprising both with his pace and bounce, not something the medium pacer is normally associated with. They were important wickets too. Fidel Edwards then belted the same bowler to Stephen Finn as Hampshire lost three wickets for the addition of only five runs. So it was left to last man James Tomlinson to get the score beyond 400. He hit Rayner for this maximum. Before he too fell to Dexter, Roland Jones with a catch in the deep as the bowler followed up his four foot in the win at Sussex last week with figures of five for 64, which gave the former captain just the third five wicket haul of his career. Wheel, an 18-year-old South African who's on a one-year development contract at the Aegeus Bowl, needed only 18 balls of his first-class debut to get his first wicket, beating a man who's played for England for pace. Sam Robson on his way for 10. Middlesex lost their other opener, Gubbins, to Fidel Edwards, who won an LBW to lead the championship leaders on 33 for 2. That brought in Joe Burns, who was making his four-day debut for Middlesex, having come in to replace Adam Voges, who was off to the Caribbean with Australia. It was Australia versus the West Indies here, Burns winning his battle against Edwards with these couple of early boundaries. Wheel's impressive opening spell of five overs had brought him figures of one for 16, and in truth he was better than a man with the experience of Edwards, who has 55 test matches behind him. He was reduced to second change here because of the inclusion of the youngster. Nick Compton made the most of any hittable deliveries from Edwards. These two steadied the Middlesex ship until the very last ball of the day, which had Burns edging a hook shot off Irvin behind to end a stand of 69. It was a big wicket as it kept the home team on top as we move into day three, which will begin with Middlesex on 102 for three, 311 runs behind. Burns gone for 38, but Compton still there on 32. He now has a key role to play.